With many games and competitions well underway, we finally dive deep into the world of SHS sports and how teams are adapting to new protocols. The Blue Knights have been dominating recently, so we put TK on the job of capturing the glory and adjustments surrounding this bizarre athletic season. After school at Sandwich High, teams can be seen running passing roads, shooting corner kicks, and battling for a ball with sticks. All this to prepare for their upcoming games. The nightlife team dove into the thoughts and words of some of our top athletes and administration to get their take on this season's unique atmosphere. We got it done. So that's the good news. Kids had an opportunity to compete and, uh, and so that's been, you know, that's been, uh, been a bit of a blessing. We spoke to two student athletes and received their take on this unique season. We changed from 11 v 11 to 7 v 7, which was obviously a big impact because there was 11 people on the field and then it changed to 7. Also, um, we used to have corners, like if you were in the circle and it hit someone's foot, it would go to like a corner, but now it goes to the 25, which is a huge disadvantage. Coronavirus has affected soccer in many ways, including where you can't head the ball anymore. There's kick-ins and not throw-ins, and on corner kicks, you can't kick it into the box. You can only do a pass on the ground. Overall, I think wearing the masks definitely helped. This season especially, with the new rules, um, every single game was different with the refs. So including myself and my teammates, we got really frustrated about the calls because it really changed game to game and it really did like affect the results of the game directly. And it's still fun, but it's definitely not the same. We spoke to one of the goalies for the Detroit Red Wings, Kevin Boyle, to get his perspective of COVID as a professional athlete. Uh, let's say in season. So like when you're in season, like what is like a normal day look like for you uh, before COVID and then like what has COVID done to affect it now? After COVID, I haven't, so I haven't been eating like season or anything like that since COVID started. It'll probably, honestly, probably a lot of it will depend on how this year goes. If I, like once I stop playing hockey, I think I want to try and stay in hockey whether that's coaching or doing something else. I'm not going to be playing hockey until I'm 60 years old. So eventually I'm going to have to find something something else to do. We're still probably a few weeks away from um, figuring out what it is we can do in the winter. Um, and then beyond that, it's probably going, unless things get a lot better, it's going to look and feel the same for the fall two sports, which right now are scheduled to start in uh, February 22nd. And for us right now, that's football, cheerleading and, go and volleyball. Those sports in theory would be played in f what's called fall two. And then our spring sports. So it's just kind of a little bit of a wait and see. Uh, we'll get that information uh, and then decide what it is we can, can and can't do, you know. Sports are looking good this year, especially from the perspective of players and administration. We hope this trend continues throughout the year. One troubling example of how COVID has affected sports this year is the golf team who is setting up for a historic season. Their season recently got canceled due to a case within the team. We will keep you updated on the state of athletics throughout the year. Now, back to Annabelle.